Taxes. Taxes, come closer. I'm scared. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Etho. We are playing some more Project Ozone 2 here, and uh, we're in the Erebus dimension. We got here last episode, but we're having some trouble. We, we were getting a lot of game crashes. Like, every minute the game was crashing on me. Um, so I've tried boosting my RAM from 6 to 8 gigs, and still was getting crashes. That didn't seem to do anything. Now I've changed my graphics to uh, fast. So leaves aren't transparent anymore, and I've lowered the render distance, so it's very short. And I'm hoping we can survive here for longer than a minute now. <laughs> uh, but I decided to check out like what we actually need here, and it's these red glowstone sort of thingies. So uh, at the very least, we're going to grab these. Okay, so that should give us red gems. Oh, give me that back. Oh, pressed the wrong button. Oh, you know what it is? You know what it is? Like, I've played Minecraft for a long time, and originally you pressed I to open your inventory. <laughs> oh, no, get back here. And I still do that from time to time. I still press I uh, instead of E. I have switched over to E, but sometimes I forget. All right, anyways. And I is what places down the weapon. Um, okay, so these are what we need. We're going to need them to do what? We need that for the red furnaces, and extreme furnaces, ultimate furnaces, and then the, for the crazy recipes. Okay, guys, I tell you what, we're going to go explore together. We, we've we set a record. We've gone over a minute, a whole minute without crashing. So I think we might be okay. I think changing to fast graphics did the trick. And I, I went and grabbed our night vision pants, so things are going to be a bit more green. <laughs> but hopefully a bit more bright in general as we go look around here. And we'll just see like what, what kind of cool stuff we have here. Uh, oh, cattails! Somebody in the comments warned me about bot flies. Is that a bot fly? Lifeblood. Hmm. Or is that... No, that looks like a bot fly, right? They'll, like, lay eggs in you, and then the eggs will stay on you and hatch or something crazy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we should try f uh, try it out ourselves. If it happens, it happens. Okay. Uh, was it called Bull Rush? Bull Rush. Huh. Aren't those cattails? Oh. Oh, hello. Wow. That guy did so much damage. Why is... Uh-oh. That heart did not heal me. Or the apple. Oh, yeah, it did. Okay. Like, the hearts were black. It looked like they didn't count. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, this place is possibly dangerous. Um, we're okay still? The, the reason we died there, I think, is because it's glitched, though. If we lose just a few hearts, it'll, it'll count as a life loss, even though we didn't lose that much health, really. I think we only lost four or five hearts there. Okay. And as we go here, we'll try grab all the, the red gem stuff we can. Because this is the main thing we need. Uh, let's see if we can kill the beetles now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you, we can kill them. Game doesn't crash. Amazing. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Look look how much the health is going down from these, these wasps. This must be a wasp nest here. Oh, with a wasp spawner. Okay. I'm going to kill it. Just this. Okay, that I was not expecting. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, I'm almost dead. E oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we might not actually be uh, geared up well enough for this place. That was a lot of damage, wasn't it? Did we get the wasp spawner or did it destroy it? I think it destroyed it. This is like a different uh, biome for sure, though. There's more mushrooms and stuff here. Not too, not too many trees. <gasps> oh, it's that thing. That's the crush room. Oh my goodness, that thing's scary. <laughs> okay, wait a second, wait a second. I want to trap him and bring him home. Can we do that? Did I bring the safari net stuff? 
Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, wait, 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 golden lasso. Only good for passive mobs. I kind of don't think he's a passive mob. He's... Dude, he stole my item. Or something. Okay. Okay, you're not imagining things, guys. <laughs> That's a mushroom. <laughs> a very angry mushroom. I want my lasso back. Please? No, I can't get him. I can't get him with it. Oh, no! <laughs> he stole my best item. Uh, absorption, resistance... No, I don't know what the white stuff is. I think that's just a particle effect after he steals something. I want that back. I think we got it. No. Oh, man, we picked up too much garbage. There it is. Okay, we got it this time. I think we're just... Oh, 6% jetpack! Oh, snap. Okay, I think we're just going to kill this guy if we can. One shot, like a boss. Uh, do we have any spare power? By chance. Did I bring any? We got solar. There might be something in here for charging. Let's check it out. Was I wise enough to leave one in? Yes. Whew. We can recharge, get back home. Good stuff. Okay, uh, this guy... Let's see if he dropped anything. Uh, so we got... Oh, it kind of counts like a, a boss monster. We did get a yellow heart from it, but that's that's not really anything we need. And we got the the purple shader thing. Beyond that, I don't see anything else. Okay. Um, what are these? Finger mushroom. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for... There's a mushroom you can make into a glowing mushroom here. <laughs> I really want it. A glow shroom. We need a regular one, and you mix it with bioluminescence, wherever that comes from. I have no idea. Oh, oh, that's it, right? Yeah, I got bot-flied. Okay, we're, we're bot-flied. Oh, does it stop? Dude! Okay, I do regret it now. I really do. <laughs> it's gonna destroy my armor. No! Get off me! Uh, pressing shift a bunch of times doesn't seem to fix it. Okay. Tell you what, we, we gotta get out of here. I think I'm gonna die. Uh, where was the torches? Yeah, if you get bot flied, you're... Oh, there it is! There it is! It's growing! It's growing on me! Oh, please get off of me. I don't know how to get it off. Maybe you just gotta survive long enough and then it'll it'll go away. Please. Oh okay, I don't wanna lose the the armor really. Let's get close to the portal though, just in case. Stupid stupid bot fly. <laughs> There's the torches. Okay, that's where we gotta go. Or maybe if we get close to the portal, he'll go through, but we won't. That would be cool. I can't even, like, control where I'm going. It's knocking me all over the place. Let me down that hole. Seriously, dude. You gotta get off. You really do. Oh, no. He's gonna do it again. Oh, I got enough trouble in my life right now. Um... <laughs> this is so stupid. Like, there's no way I'm getting down there. Not gonna happen. Oh man, okay, I'm gonna try this. It might not work. But if it does, I might be a genius. No, it took us to Jupiter! It got rid of the bot fly though. I think I'm stranded. <laughs> oh no, no! It took us to. Oh no, he's back! Dude, get off of me! He's not attacking me now. So it sounds like I gotta drink something called beetle juice, which I have no idea how to get that. Maybe you, you use an iron bucket on a beetle? Oh, now he's, he's mad. 
Ah, I want him dead. I really want this guy dead. Okay, what do we do? What do we do here? Oh, like I'll never get through this portal. He won't let me. Can I zap you? <laughs> Please? Can you catch on fire for me? No. Uh, helmet's still okay, but we're running out of time here. Oh yeah, I can place blocks right against the portal, can I? Okay, so we got a frame there. We might be able to go through. Careful. We're down to... We're like out of apples, though. Will it count? Will it let me go through? Uh, it's not looking like it. Darn! Okay. Well, here's another plan. <laughs> I am going to try send my jetpack back so we can get here again really easy. And I think we're going to have to die. Don't think there's any way around it. Okay, here we go. Oh. I've never been so happy to die. <laughs> now, where is it going to... Okay, we're here. That's good. Botfly is gone. Jetpack should be in here. Spell it correctly. Right over there. I don't see the botfly. Which is great. <laughs> another another reminder of our stupidity here. That was our second death on the server. Or in the in the mod pack here. Oh, I didn't put that on. Okay, I think everything's back to, to what we had. Uh, we need to re-enchant our, our bag of holding. Bag of holding, I just put in here because I didn't want to carry it in case I died again. Um, if we do this, we can do it with the stuff inside, right? It doesn't overwrite the, the contents. I'm hoping... Wait a second. <laughs> you know, I, I'm bad with making assumptions. I do it all the time, and I shouldn't because I've, I've had some bad consequences. Let's try it on this first. That seems like a smarter idea. Yeah, it still has a torch inside. Okay, so it's safe to do that with this one. I'm assuming. <laughs> Alright, we're all good. We're all good. Um, got that back. Uh, we're going to need more apples. Can we craft more of these things? They're actually really handy. Okay, so let's check this out, actually. What is the Beetlejuice stuff? Can you put it in the iron buckets? Yeah, okay, so I'm guessing you just got to right-click on a on a beetle with a bucket, right? To, to get it. Next time we go to Erebus, we have to get this first. Because if we get bitten by a botfly again, like, we're, we're dead. You can't move around or do anything once it happens. Um, beetle riding kit. <laughs> okay, we got to try that out next time, too. But I think uh, I think for today, we're going to do, do some more quests now. Now that we got the red gems, we can finally get our HE double hockey stick furnace here. I think. What is heat sand from Natura? Wait a second. Let's look, look at that again. Can we do this? Oh, uh, from sifting soul sand. We've probably done that. And from the sludge boiler. Okay, we definitely got it then. Uh, let's check it out. Sands. We only have 12. Hmm, that's not very much. I think we just put it in here. Yeah, okay. So now let's try and make our, our furnace here. Furnace. We'll probably need one of these first. Um, why no go? What's missing here? No glass. What? You know, I don't think I actually hooked this up to the system. Um. Always active. Okay. I think I've just been turning it on and off when we run short. Is this importing it? Yeah. I think that's putting glass into the ME system. Let's check it out. Glass. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. We have to tell it to output from the top. Push. Or let's put let's put it in here, right? That'll do it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, now it's sucking it out. Okay, good. Turn that back to normal. It's still working, yep. Yeah. Okay, we got our glass. 
Oh, that's causing lag, though. I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it. Okay, furnace recipe. Good stuff. We'll make one of those. Throw it in there. Move up the tier. Okay, now let's try this one. Got all the things. Good. Throw that in there. Now this one, we're probably missing the gears, yeah. Uh, we do have a recipe for making those, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's get ten of them. Uh-oh. Oh, everything's in block form. Hmm. When we switched over the system, I took out all our, our uh, compacting drawers. So now everything in block form needs a recipe to convert to ingots. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, I don't really want to do that, but I guess we'll have to. So that's going to be tedious. Okay, get one of those. Maxed out. Okay, let's check out our book now. This is what we were stuck on in these alpha quests. We weren't able to get past this. So now, uh, like all this bottom stuff should be available. We need HV wire connectors. Those seem pretty simple. HV wire. We'll just do a few of these and then we'll probably do something else. Hardened clay. Uh, we should have clay, yeah. Throw that into the furnace. Good stuff. Okay, let's check out our bags. A beacon! Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. And a tier 1 chance pendant. Okay. Okay, we should have it now. Good. And what else do we need? One more connector thing. Medium voltage, so it's just without... Uh, these two, right? Oh, different type of metal. Is it iron? Yeah, it is iron. Okay. Good, good. Throw these in here, too. Uh, I'm repairing our boots and, and stuff right now, too. Let's go check out our washing machine, because right now I got no armor on. Uh, really. Okay, those are done. These still need a little bit more time. Okay, let's do LMH capacitors here. So we need medium voltage and high voltage still. And they look very simple, so let's do it. Let's do it. Medium voltage. Once we do these, I think it's going to unlock a bunch of quests that we've actually uh, done already. And we're going to make super progress. It's going to be amazing. Okay. High voltage. What's missing? Something's missing. A block of lead. Okay, that's... No? Oh, we have lead. We have tons of lead. Uh-oh. Is my mouse dying? No. Oh, do we have to block form it? Um, oh, that's annoying. Okay, we got to go over here. <laughs> this is something we need to maybe set up more permanent because, uh, like, we got to melt stuff down in here to turn it into block form. Uh, that gives me an idea, actually. You guys told me if we use gasoline instead of uh, just lava in the smeltery, it speeds it up significantly, like... I think it'll be almost instant. So I want to see, first off, can we do both? Can we have one tank with lava in and one with another type of fuel? Will it use the faster one first? Because that's what I want it to do. So if we do that, it has both types of fuel now. And if we put this in, let's make another two blocks. Still going slow, still going slow. Okay, so then let's try rip this one out. And put this in. So now it should use the gasoline. And I think it was in, like instant, right? Let's see. Uh, I'll just throw these in to try it. Yeah, look how fast that was in comparison. And it's using not that much fuel, actually. So that's pretty good. Yeah, so when we, when we try to set this up automatically, we're going to want to use gasoline, not just lava. Anyways, back to this again. High voltage. We got our lead block. That quest should be done. Let's hand it in. Do we got one more? Okay, we got to do thermal power too. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to grab a hammer. And I think we have constant tan. Not very much though. Hmm. Okay, we need five of those. And I forgot the name of the thing. <laughs> thermal electric generator. Okay, therm... Oh... Electric generator, right? And we have one of those, so I think it's all good. Yep, yeah, that's all done. Hand it in. 
Now look at this. We got four of them un unlocked at once here because we've done this before. We have these set up to power our biodiesel generator. Did the diesel generator. This one. Oh, we need a bucket of it because we have made this stuff before. Each one is 250 millibuckets, so we need four of these. One, two, three, four. No, just two. <laughs> it would have been nice. Okay, clay. We can't do this, can we? No. Even in mod modded Minecraft, you can't uncraft it that way. You got to break it. Oh, snap. Okay, there we go. So four of those, throw them into the magma crucible. And then we throw our bucket in here. Should start filling it up. Oh, and I think it went back into here. Petro. Yeah, there we go. We got our thing. Is that going to count it as us crafting it? Or do we just need it? We just need it. Cool. Let's check out our bags. We got a bunch of them now. Nothing too exciting there. Uh-oh, game crash. Nope, we're still good. Whetstone. Oh, longfall boots and uh, the faith plate things. <laughs> so, I never really got into this. Like, when I first started playing mo uh, modded Minecraft, this was the big thing, these longfall boots. Everybody had them. <laughs> you can fall as far as you want, you won't take damage, but I think they have uh, pretty crummy armor. It was like feather falling before feather falling was a thing, I think. Or maybe maybe it was a thing already, I don't know. And I did want to try out the, some of this stuff too. Mo medium voltage, high voltage capacitors. Can you connect these to, uh, to the cables? Because I kind of want to learn how stuff works here too, not just run through the content. So that doesn't connect to those, it looks like. we got to connect it to like this kind of power then. Um, which I don't know if we have any cables. Oh yeah, we do. Just, just out of curiosity, I want to try it. Can you hook a m low voltage to medium voltage? Let's see. So you take that. That goes on the top. Run a wire between the two. And yeah, it's charging. You can see at the, the top middle there. And it holds uh, one million for the medium voltage. High voltage is four times that. Four. Oh. <laughs> thought it was a creeper. Oh man, that made me jump. Literally. Oh, okay. Usually like when I do these uh these videos, I'll I'll try stuff out on camera, but then like when I stop recording, I I try out even more stuff. <laughs> so just to be like super certain, I tried hooking it to the top and yeah. It does it does actually connect. Has to be the top with these uh capacitors. But they do work with these cables, which kind of surprised me. So that's cool. That means you... Oh, actually, look at that. Look at that. If you hold shift, I think that's a power bar. The blue and orange dots, isn't it? Wait a second. So it's totally filled up, but it looks like it's still empty. Maybe it's not a power bar. <laughs> that would have been cool, though. Or if it is, I can't make sense of it. Okay, so check this out, guys. Check this out. Like, if you don't know, like, all of Thermal Expansion's liquids have some cool characteristic to it. So this stuff, you know what it does if you step in it? Gives you Night Vision, Haste 3, and Resistance 2. <laughs> so that's pretty good. That's, like, really powerful effects from just stepping in a liquid. So if you set that up in, like, a battle arena or something, it's, it's actually pretty useful. If you... Because it doesn't seem to slow you down when you walk through it either. Which is cool. Okay, we got five more bags. We got our, our... Oh! Oh, zombie generator. Horse armor and another quantum thing. Alright. Zavisio. Oh, okay. We got the chest plates and three pairs of boots and two helmets. So we're still missing the legs. Okay, so we have five of these booster cards. It says, allows linked AE2 wireless crafting terminal to be used at any distance and across dimensions. You guys have been telling me to set this up, so I want to see if we can do it today. Uh, only works when in wireless crafting terminal slots. Don't quite understand what that means, but we'll figure it out. So we need an ME chest. I think we got to set up a security system. 
and then put those cards in it. I could be wrong about that. I think that's a 16k gold. Uh-oh. Oh, because it can't... Because uh, <laughs> we took out the compacting drawers, it can't uncraft it. So I gotta set those recipes up. It's gonna be a problem if I don't. Okay, 16k. Should be doable now. We'll let that run. Um, let's check out wireless. See if anything comes up. So I think we need... Is it this thing? Let's see, wireless booster. We might need to craft that too. If those infinity cards don't do it on their own. Universal. Oh, so this will do everything. This only does items, I think. This only does gases. This only does liquids. So this is the the big one that we probably want to get. That's all ready. Okay, let's put this down and just check it out. See what it does. Um, we'll hook it up right here. How about that? So there's a spot here, I think, for the wireless thing. And let's try to put one of these cards in it. I think it goes in there. For all of you AE experts, I know you're face palming. <laughs> this is not something I have a lot of experience with. I think it goes in here, right? Uh, let's try. Okay. Or can we put anything there? We can put anything there. <laughs> I had like a eureka moment for a second, and it's like, wait a second. Okay, so let's try let's try get one of those uh, wireless things too. Then let's see what happens when we throw it in. Can it, can it not go there? So I ended up just checking out a tutorial because that's what I do when I get stuck on things, and uh, I was pretty close. So you put this in here to sync it with the security system. So once you do that, this is synced with the security system. Uh, you gotta charge it, which I think you might be able to do in one of those. Uh, AE cells, but you can also do it here, I'm pretty sure. Um, is it just slow? It's pretty slow, so we're at 1% right now. Yeah, that's going to take a long time. So that'll charge it up, and then I was missing one thing I didn't realize we needed. So we need a wireless access point. Wireless access point, one of these. I'm going to make a recipe for it too. And then you just connect that to the cable somewhere, wherever you want your uh, center point to be, I think. So if that's up here, then we put the booster card in here. Normally, uh-oh, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to see. Uh, it's not going to go into there, is it? So normally you put a booster in there, I think. Let's see if we can make one of those. Uh, boost. So there's an infinity booster, which I don't think you can get normally. And this is what you usually use. Oh, come on. Don't do that to me. Fluix. What? Wait, was it not Fluix? Booster? Oh, it's some green. It's the enderpearl powder. You get that, I think, just from pulverizing enderpearls. I've never actually had to use that in a recipe, though. <laughs> uh, the problem is I think it gets converted into something else. Uh, Ender Pearl, if we're not quick enough. Okay, there we go. So take these, and then they go into here. Yeah, so now we have a range of 30 blocks, I think. And if we grab our wireless terminal, it should should work. Yeah, so we can check out our AE, AE system using this. The more cards we add into there, the higher the range, but the more power it uses too. So this is too far away already. So we'll need, need to add a lot of cards. I don't know why uh, this doesn't work though. This is what we really want to use. Hmm. Only works when in wireless crafting terminal slot. Wireless crafting. Wireless crafting. We might need this. Probably. It's expensive. I'm guessing we do. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. 
If not, let me know in the comments. I think we're going to wrap up the episode for today, guys, though. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.